Joa. He is also my classmate for Applied English class. And we will do our interview together. Uh, okay, Joa, can you give uh, information about yourself? Yes, of course. Um, hello, I am João Augusto. I'm from Brazil, from Minas Gerais, state of Minas Gerais. And I believe people don't know where it is, but it's a, a state neighbor of Sao Paulo and Rio. Paulo. That ones I believe everybody knows, right? Um, I study economics and also I'm a fan of your channel on YouTube. So thank you for having me. You're welcome, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm also. Uh, it's also a pride, pleasure for me uh, to know to meet lots of people and for you too because you are my classmate. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had a good time with uh, English class. Yeah, uh, we made a good work together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for Brexit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, why Brazilian people choose to come to Portugal except the language advantage, you know? Okay, um, talking about students or people in general? Yeah, students and general people. Okay, um, first about the students, because I'm a student, of course. Yeah. Um, it's easy to come to Portugal. In Brazil, we have this test we make um, when we finish the high school. And it's called a name, and the grade we have in this test is used to apply for university. Mm -hmm. And in Portugal, there is some universities that accept this um, this kind of access. So a lot of students are coming to make all the course in Portugal. And also for students that are just coming in an exchange program, yeah, as I do, uh, it's a good opportunity to get in touch with the roots of your country, to the roots of your culture, also, of course, the language. I can talk about the language. <laughs> um, it's a place that doesn't have so such a hard weather, yeah. um, so we can... It's not that hard to face the cold here. Yeah. Yeah. And people in general, um, in Brazil, in the last years, we went through a very terrible crisis now we are in a hard and long recovery process and the unemployment is really high in our country so a lot of people are coming to Portugal to try a new life, to try to find a better job as you know Portugal is not the most developed country in Europe but comparing to Brazil yeah. I believe that standards of living here are higher yeah. it's a safest country and yeah and also you can uh, keep in touch the other part of Europe. Yes. And, uh, European Commission and funds, everything. Yes, I know some people that first come to Portugal and then they find a way to go to another country and so, start uh, a life in a country sure. that's not Portugal. Yeah. Uh, can you compare Brazil and Portugal? in the perspective of lifestyle and education. Okay, um, first about education. I don't know exactly how it goes before university, but I know that in high school in Porto, um, the young people have the, they can choose in a specific area to conduct their studies. So it's like, I like history, so I'm gonna conduct, I, I, I try to study more things related to history, sociology, economics, mm. and all that stuff. Also for the science that goes like medicine, and chemistry. Mm. So you start to prepare yourself to what you want to study in university in high school. And it's really nice, and we don't have it in Brazil. Mm. In Brazil, everybody studies everything. Yeah. Um, you know, the same thing. Same, same, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And about the university, here we have the first and the second cycle, the first cycle, and it's like in Brazil what we call the graduate, the graduation, and it's like economics here, it's three years, in Brazil it's at least four years. Yeah, it's the same in Turkey, it's four years. Yeah, so we start a lot to become an economist in Brazil, and here it's a little bit fast. 
Um, personally, I believe that is important in university as um, any step as a science and a scientist yeah. to said everything is possible. So yeah, it's important in Portugal to have the second cycle if you want to be a professor or if you want to have deep knowledge in the area you're studying. I think that's our the main differences. Yeah. And also here, of course, they have to study a lot about the European Union. So For sure. you study the cases of different countries, you get in touch with different countries, and I think it's really important to be an Erasmus when you're studying in Europe. So, uh, what about the perspective of uh, food? Food, okay. Brazilian food is better. <laughs> yeah, well, I also like the Portuguese food. Um, I believe that the main problem is that they use a lot of fat. Mm. Yeah, fat and oil and all that stuff. They like sweet, I, I definitely say. Yeah, yeah. They like sweet. Yeah. But um, Brazilian food, Brazilian is one country with five regions. So we have a lot of different food. Yeah. You can go to Brazil and spend like one year trying everything. Yeah, yeah we, we are actually <laughs> the same yeah. of this part. Eh? Uh, you consume lots of meats, yeah. As we, and um, we have so much similarities. I can say this. Yeah, in the the talking we were having, start the, before starting the video, we could see this, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but um, it's like in Portugal. I feel that they have some traditional dishes that are common in every region. Yeah, in Brazil also, of course, the rice and beans is the main thing to eat in Brazil. But every region takes a little bit of, of special Differences. sauce. Yes, every region makes yeah. it different and good in its own way. And also, I want to mention rice and uh, bean is uh, one of the most traditions. Oh, really? In Turkey. Really? Yes. You rice um, and meat. I have a question for yeah. you. Have you ever prepared beans with cinnamon? With cinnamon. No, no, I didn't oh try it. <laughs> I didn't try. <laughs> I tried it here in Portugal. It was an accident, actually. But it but got really good. Know. Got really good. And once I watched a Turkish movie, and this this girl, they she was preparing meatballs with cinnamon. Oh. And it was curious, curious, yes. And now that I prepared beans with cinnamon. I'm in love with cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm going to prepare meatballs with cinnamon too. Okay, I will try to uh, do a beans with cinnamon. Yeah. Um, do you use in Turkey cinnamon in yeah, some yeah, things too? Yeah, for sure. Uh, generally for the sweet things. Yeah. But I didn't try. You know. Yeah, the same in Brazil. Yeah, people probably gonna call me crazy when. They yeah. Come yeah. <laughs> Yeah, trust me, it's important to try. Yeah. Uh, Joao, how did you find uh, Coelia and Portugal? Uh, for your experience, uh, for your opinion, everything. Well, um, first about Coelia, since I got here, I'm in love with the city. It's small, it's charming, it's old. I can see old people everywhere. Yeah. They are um they are always able to say good morning or good afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's I love that. <laughs> it's the one of the best thing that uh, being here, you know? Yes. Not even old people, the young ones. I don't even remember him or her, but uh, he, he or she says good morning uh, like they say bon dia. Bon dia. Yes. You always can start your day with a smile, with a sweet smile of yeah. an old person. And I, I think it's really good, it's really nice. And of course, we are here just a few kilometers of Serra da Estrela. It's awesome, it's a beautiful place. And every day when I open my window and I see the nature around Covidon, I got happy. Yeah. I got happy. There, um, I can remember a day here that I couldn't feel happy about the nature around me. Mm. Yeah, I could be sad, I could be missing my family, my friends, but it's really beautiful and it's really good to feel in touch with nature here. And um, this city also has uh, 
for me it's a dramatic story. They had lots of factories and right now yes. they are closed. Uh, but they have good university and uh, they have good environment from all over the world as our as our students come here and uh, different cultures uh, they start to rebuild the, this city yes a few days ago i was talking to my professor economics of course and he was telling me about this he told me that more than 100 factors work it in the same time here yeah and they could even make their own equipment it's and, amazing yeah it's unsaid in the same time and uh, i uh, heard a word from uh, the local people uh, they say uh, this for korea Hello guys, if you like this video, you can subscribe my channel, you can uh, see my other videos and you can share this video with your friends. Thank you so much.